<laughs> I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once? I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh yeah? Yeah. Had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <coughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now, but I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. Anyway. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. you don't say. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Good boy. Yeah, there you go, boy. Just let me get this off, boy.
Cargo, you bringing through here? You there, boy? We We're trying to get these supplies to the.
Hello. Got some bills to pay, huh? Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Hello. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's saying that- I didn't shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Ah.
state for the federal government. You're an enemy of this state. Stay back! You know why you're here, don't you? You're an agent Get away. of the I government can... in the free state of Lemoyne. Oh, That's God. Crazy, Please. Please don't. Oh, good. <laughs> Easy. Whoa. You there? Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here, quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Now, set it off. Hey, look! They're trying to blind us! We're right here, too! More than chunks! <laughs> I think I got some of your friends on my face! Back to the front! More riders! Yeah. 
You got them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, I got it. Well, I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs>